Nice place. Isn't it? Offers a lovely view of the valley. On a clear day, you can see the outlines of Duntine. Is it, though? A ruin like any other, I think. Ah, uh, so sensitive. So aware. Honestly, what did Declaf ever see in you? Perhaps he'll tell you himself. Let's get ready. Deadlove will be here any moment now. was a ruse. Dead love. It's not that simple. I... Oh no. It's very simple. You either deceived me or not. In forgiving you, I grieve. For now, we must part. <sighs> a shame. Sianna! I had to do what she deserved. Beauclair will know peace once more. The vampires will have left the city by dawn. I shall leave as well. Go far away, far from men. You can try to stand in my way. Then I shall kill you both. Though that is not at all my will. The decision is yours. You can go, but if ever we meet again, I shall keep my distance, believe me. Geralt Regis, farewell. I'm sorry. I swore to protect her, I know, but... But it happened so fast. What have we done? Let a killer walk. Isn't that what you wanted from the start, though? We have to let Anna Henrietta know. Geralt, you will face... I know. All the same, we have to inform her. Hey there, Geralt of Riffia. What do you want? Me? Not a thing. <laughs> Name's Handsome Jacques, and I've already got it all. What I wonder is if there's anything you'd need. What can you get me exactly? Exactly? 
<laughs> Anything a patron of this little auberge might desire. From decent fiddles that won't stew your innards to a dab of fisty to make you fly. Even brought in a slinky piece of arse once. A boarder claimed to suffer from glandular overactivity or some such. You see, out there beyond the walls, I'm a lowly dog's body. But here, in the kingdom of the clink, I'm the cling. Can't readily think of anything. Come now, mate. We all need something. You've just not been in here long enough to know. You know me? How? No. That's a stretch. No, I wouldn't say that, no. But I do know they've assigned you to the laundry, same as me. And I know what you're in for, your dastardly deed. Then again, I know that about every jester who winds up here. Hmm. Kinda curious to know what you know, or think you know. The Duquesa hired you to find the butcher of Beauclair. And you did... But then you let him butcher dear Anarietta's sis. Lucky, then, you managed to cut the murderer down. The court could very well cast a kinder eye on your case. Hmm. Seemed pretty well informed. Best informed mutt in this kennel paws down. Duquesa's cross, no doubt, while you await your trial. Though she never seemed concerned for her sister before. Since you seem to know so much, tell me one last thing. My sentence. What'll it be? <laughs> None can tell you that. Anarietta's a fickle cocotte. There's just no knowing which teeth she's like to flesh. But I'd advise against escape. You're a prisoner among many now. Take flight, though. Make it out. Public enemy number one. Why'd they lock you up? Ah, uh, hodgepodge. I had no domicile, but had to winter somewhere, so I robbed a shopkeeper. Couldn't have made a worse mistake. The penalty was a fine, an amount I couldn't pay, so they switched it to lashes, meted out on my bum. After that, I shifted course, started pinching bigwigs' noses. Cut the tail of Count Beauvieux's steed. Got a year and a half for that. My next exploits had to be grander, even greater wrongs. So I carefully chose my victim, Marshal de la Steak. Filled his cask with dung from between my very own cheeks. That got me three years of free room and board. I'll pull another prank as soon as they let me out. Made it a career. It's become my way of life. We're gonna report for this laundry duty. Rather get it over with. Away we go. Personally, I'm pleased we're assigned to it. Those rags stink like sick in the sun, but you get used to it. And when you're working, you get more bread. Who have we here? The guardian of gutter snipes locked in the clink. How did that happen? My, my. What could the Duchess's favorite have done to deserve this? Back off. I'm busy. Hear that? The laundry wench is busy. Yet I fear we have a matter to resolve. Remember our meeting, boot black bodyguard? You go ahead and cheat. I'll be back once you're done. <sighs> Thanks for sticking around to help, Jacques. You're in the coop, mate. Only one thing counts here, survival. Folk don't stick their necks out for anyone besides themselves. Boo-hoo. He left you all alone. Come on. Be constructive. Make yourselves useful. Yes, we should see to the wash or they'll put us in confinement. Hey! The mutants trying charms on us! Can't you see? 
Your tricks won't work here, lad. You cannot mesmerize all three of us at once. Grab yourselves washboards, boys. Blood! Blood! Oh, clumsy! What is going on here? Nothing. I'm not asking you, but the one on the floor. Have you anything to say? I slipped on some soap. You slipped on soap? Lots of soap here. It is a laundry. Harlots, brutes. Solitary for the lot of you. You'll have ample time to consider. Think about the choices you've made in life. I'll make certain of it. Didn't do anything to deserve solitary. Shut it! Milton was my cousin. You let him die. Was the Duquesa's coin not enough? Did you expect more to save a good man's life? Arrived too late. Nothing I could do. And when the beast tore apart the Duquesa's sister? Too late then, too? Were it up to me, you'd have hanged already. And don't you try any witcher tricks on me. You will end oh so badly if you do. Here of your own free will, Stefan? Or did they lock you up too? Bet you're thinking about food. What you'll eat once you're free. Mutton leg. That's what I'm dreaming of. Well roasted on the outside. Nice and juicy in the middle. Are you the lout from Rivia? Yep, I'm that lout. Come with me. You're to be sentenced. To what? To shut it. What am I, the town crier? Hands behind your back. Now let's go, and no funny business. Do you know where this leads? No. Hope it's the exit, though. You guessed it. The thing is, there are different kinds of exits. Some walk this path to freedom. Others walk it straight into eternity. Which am I headed for? I don't know. Yet one thing is certain. You will never walk this path again. Mark Dubois, you are hereby judged guilty of trampling Alice Valref, the cupbearer's wife, while on horseback. The woman's condition is critical. It was an accident. I was riding fast, it's true, but she jumped out in front of me. In light of the above, there can be but one sentence. Death by decapitation. No, I didn't do anything! Help! There must be witnesses! Off with his head. Next. Paul, the Witcher, take him to the tower. That's an order. An order's an order. Guess you're not next after all. Follow me. You're supposed to follow me. Why do you make me watch that execution? So you'd know this is no alms house for lost orphan boys. Wanted me to think I was next. Enjoy that? Getting a rise out of folk? You guessed it. The harlots hounds that land here, I detest them. So I do everything in my power so they'll know they're in the clink, not on holiday. I've brought the prisoner, sir. Unbind him and leave us. Greetings, Witcher. Your face doesn't look good. Though, looked even worse last time I saw you. I apply an Arnica extract. I can hardly feel it anymore. But my scars pale in comparison to the fate Siana met with. The fate that was your doing. I trusted you. And how did you repay me? Consider it, Witcher. Why do you think the Duquesa had Siana hidden away to start with? Can you guess? I'm sorry. Might not believe me, but... Couldn't have predicted that turn of events. Certainly never wanted that. Enough. We shall speak of it no more. Guess there's been a decision in my case. Truly? Is that all you care about? Your own hide? Get kinda anxious when my life's on the line. Your life was never threatened. 
The court considered various punishments. The death sentence was not among them. Wasn't in attendance, so I wouldn't know. You are in Toussaint, where the rule of law holds. We do not allow lynchings here, and every case is analyzed in minutest detail. The facts are as follows. You were hired to kill the beast. Not only did you fail in that endeavor, but you also caused the death of our Duquesa's sister. Have I missed anything? I'll have you know that were it up to me, you would rot in our dungeon until your dying day. Glad you didn't have the deciding vote then. At any rate, I am not the best person to tell you what was decided in your matter. I'd say the man who worked hardest to tip the scales in your favor should. What are you talking about? What man? Dandelion? Sheesh, Geralt. You look like you've seen a ghost. A ghost wouldn't have surprised me half this much, I promise you. What are you doing in Beauclair? Officially? Visiting Honorietta. That is to say, the Duchess. We're old friends, ah, but you know that. Unofficially, I'm saving your Heine. You? You're a persona non grata in Toussaint. Undesirable. Didn't stop me from risking my skin for you. In my book, friendship is all that matters. Well, friendship and love. And art. Oh, and wine. Take it I'm free, thanks to you. How do you manage it? Oh, I have my ways. Took a little persuasive logic. Blended in some deft rhetoric, then added a generous pinch of charm. And voila! You're free! But just so you know, it wasn't easy. In fact, it was pretty damn hard. Duchess was so furious, I think she even forgot she'd banished me from Beauclair. For life! All she could do was scream that you'd never set foot outside that dungeon again. How'd you get her to take a fresh look at things? I appealed to the faultless intentions that guided you. To your reputation, your accomplishments, and... Well, ultimately, she changed her mind, and you're free. Never wants to see you again, but... Even got her to leave your vineyard with you. You won't get a copper of your promised reward, but you'll keep your estate. Dandelion, you are a regular master of diplomacy. Thanks. Listen, you do whatever needs doing, but I've got to get to the cemetery. Henrietta's in bad shape with Sienna dead. Some folk forget that under the ducal regalia, she's just an ordinary woman who's lost a loved one. All right. See you later. See you, Geralt. Off we go. You'll collect your things at the door. Don't smile so wide. Someone's liable to see. Could mean trouble. I can't help myself. Just so glad to see you. Glad to see you too, my vampire friend. What did you do while I... Uh... While you vegetated in that correctional facility? I used the time to think. Wish to know what I thought about. Of course. The relationship between two numbers. Declaf's four victims and the five chivalric virtues. As you've no doubt noted, there's a difference of one. Mean to tell me, after all we've figured out, that you now believe in the whole five virtues punished theory? Belief's got nothing to do with it. It's cold logic. Deduction. Siana went to great lengths to make folk believe the beast was punishing those who betrayed the virtues. Were I in her shoes, I'd make sure the number of victims matched. Are you not at all curious who was meant to be the fifth? If I say yes, what then? Then you'll come with me for another chat with the boot black. You see, I've learned he delivered the notes to Detlaf. Our search starts with him. Now what I say to that, Regis? Those murders don't interest me anymore. A drink, though. That's another matter. Then I invite you to join me for one. I'm certain to dig up a flask. Or two. Or three.
Met a whole rogues gallery. All interesting folk in prison. Can't say I'm eager to ever see any of my cellmates again, though. Of all the places to wind up behind bars, Toussaint was a good choice. No other ruler I know would change their mind so quickly. Especially given it wasn't about just anyone, but the Duchess's very own sister. As you know, I had little sympathy for Siana. Nonetheless, I very much regret I could not keep her safe. To you, her ultimate fate, does it still bring on the occasional pang of regret? Yeah. Still. Well then. Drink up. Beauclair seems safe now, though I'm still left wondering. I mean, Detloff's alive. Think Anna Henrietta's still in danger? No. He had a score to settle with Siana. By his reckoning, he did just that. He has no reason to attack anyone else. Or to remain in Beauclair any longer. Sure hope so. Though in his boots, I'd regret having to go. Place is just plain beautiful, damn it. Mmm, supreme bouquet. Firm, defined beginning, then develops gently, rising to a, a startling finish. Don't you think? Not much of a connoisseur. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you at your new home, on the nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. Mind telling me what it is? A trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantle and take to pruning vines? Uh, don't really know yet. Might find the life of a hard-working vintner too tempting one day. Or maybe I'll just stick to the path. Go on roaming, staring up at the stars after laying my bedroll at the roadside. Ah, roadsides, bedrolls, and the sky above. I sense some poetry coming on, which of course brings to mind Dandelion. I can remember a night, not too far from here if I'm not mistaken. We hid in a cave while a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? How could it not? we just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh, our encounter with Vilgefortz. That is something I do not remember so fondly. But that first stay in Beauclair, far calmer than this one. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. Its sole problem, cellars too small to accommodate all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances like Mamoons and Dopplers, deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz? Killed him. Sure wasn't easy, though. <sighs> I so don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer? So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do. Master Witcher, some unknown individual barged into the residence. I resisted as best I could, but to no avail. Who is it? Alas, they did not do me the basic courtesy of introducing themselves. Unexpected as ever. A 
and beautiful as ever. Won't you even ask why I've come? Or how I found you? Wouldn't get a straight answer anyway. Quite true. Used to bother me all your secrets. Now I know if you have something to tell me, you'll tell me. Don't need to ask. I missed you, Geralt. Madly. Come outside. We can hold hands and stare at the sky. Like some shitty two-crown romance. Brought quite a few books. Let me guess. Working on a new spell? Not at all. These aren't grimoires, just pleasure reading. The name of the Orchid. A widower for half a year. Huh. <laughs> Always thought you too busy to make time for something as impractical as pleasure reading. Because I was. But now, I'm not. A few weeks ago, I awoke to the realization that I know not what to do next. I have no plan. I have no goal. And you know what? I like that. Finally, I can stop thinking about politics and focus on what's important to me. Which is why I came here. Liking Toussaint so far? Hmm. The landscape's lovely and the towns are charming, no question about that. But? But the southern sun plays havoc with my wardrobe. To be blunt, wear black down here and you're pretty damn hot. Hmm. Might need to think about changing your color palette. Off-white and pea-green, for instance. <laughs> and I'll wear scents distilled from turnips and daisies. I think I shall simply stay in the shade. And you'll bring me cool drinks. At regular intervals. Bring you whatever you want. You know? Feels kind of strange having a home. Hmm, I must say I never pictured you owning real estate. <laughs> Was something of an accident, but I'm not about to complain. Yen, back then, before we fought the hunt, said you wanted to run away with me to the world's end. This vineyard, good enough? Hmm, yes, although there's one thing missing. Namely... I shall give you a hint. It's large, white, has four legs, category taxidermy. Oh yeah, the unicorn. Fine, you can bring it down here. I knew you'd see things my way. Ever thought this day would come? Me and you, peace and quiet. Bees buzzing, birds chirping. I almost regret delaying so long before coming to you. I was quite the silly goose. You have doubts? Though I imagine it might have been hard coming after me. Always were proud as a peacock. Please, Geralt. I'm not like other sorceresses to feel that following someone means my wings have been clipped. Ooh, watch what you say about your colleagues. Remember, it's an ill bird that fouls its own nest. Well said, Witcher. You're not only handsome, but wise, too. I feel a bit like the cat that got the canary. Yeah, and I'm... Mm. Damn it, you win. This time. Ha! How'd that start, anyway? Our duels in wordplay. Forgotten. It was out of vernissage in Bannard. You started it to keep from going mad with boredom. I remember finding your sense of humor both groan-worthy and somehow endearing. Never change, Geralt. I beg you. So, talk again later? Of course. I'm not going anywhere.